Hammond. And that'll do it for Cherryville on the line out, out number three. No runs on no hits, no errors, a walk, and one left. We go to the bottom of the first. It's Cherryville zero and Whiteville coming to bat. Mr. Sparky, how's your drug scoreboard? This Just like Cherryville Post 100 plays their best, you want to look your best with a stop at Trudy's Classic Cuts at 800 West Church Street in Cherryville. From cuts to coloring, from perms to waxing, plus other treatments that'll make you look your best. And good luck to Cherryville Post 100 from Trudy's Classic Cuts, located at 800 West Church Street in Cherryville. For your appointment, call Trudy today at 704-445-1333 for Trudy's Classic Cuts. Catch the craving at the El Patron Mexican Restaurant in Cherryville. It's better than good. It's great. And check out Taco Loco Monday. Tacos only $1 each. And every Monday at the El Patron Mexican Restaurant. The El Patron is open Sunday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. And Friday and Saturdays, 11 a.m. till 10 p.m. For orders to go, call 704-435-4546. Catch the craving at the El Patron Mexican Restaurant, 910 East Church Street in Cherryville. Dream big, pay little with the hottest deals of the season on the grasshopper mower you've always wanted during the Summer Sizzler Sale at West End Sales in Vail. Discover how fast and easy mowing can be with the grasshopper's time-saving performance and legendary durability. Select a $500 package like the Power Fold Deck or Collection System or Implement or choose a no-interest financing deal with approved credit. It's your choice. Visit West End Sales, Highway 18, 27 Intersection in Vail. And we're back to MS Steel Stadium State Tournament, Cherryville and Whiteville. Whiteville coming to bat, bottom of the first, no score in the ball game. Derek Bracey will lead it off, the second baseman, right-handed batter Carson Frady and Hunter Smith to follow here for post 137. Seth Weekly, the right-hander for Cherryville, first pitch to Bracey is strike one. Bracey, for those of you not uh, watching on whatsappshopper.com, he's a small, stocky fella. And it's one ball, one strike now on Bracey. Weekly ready to go, the 1-1 pitch inside. Two balls, one strike on Bracey. Extremely muggy. Outside, sunshine, wind blowing the flag in center field toward right field a bit now. Was blowing straight in. And the pitch is ball three. Three balls, one strike on Derek Bracey from Seth Weekly. The wind, the 3 1 pitch is ball four. So just as Cherryville, Whiteville gets a leadoff walk in the first. And it'll bring up their center fielder, right handed batter. Number six, Carson Frady. Frady steps in. Runner at first, nobody out. The pitch, ball one high from Weekly. Still working to find his location. Looks like he let off Bracey with a strike and then threw four straight balls. It's 1-0 and oh here on Frady. Next pitch, a bunt. He missed it at it. Throw down to second to get the runner stealing. A two to six put out on Bracey for out number one, and the pitch was a ball. Frady, I thought he offered at it. Apparently, he got the bat back. It's two and zero oh on Carson Frady, but now nobody on and one out. Good job by Kaiser to fill that ball and get the throw right on the mark to second base. Picked one off yesterday in the win over Apex. Strike one now. Two balls, one strike on Frady. They'll learn you don't tug on Superman's cape and don't try to steal on Luke Kaiser. Three and one, however, the count now on Frady. Seth Weekly in danger of walking another batter here. Three one pitch is fouled off and the count full. Count full on Carson Frady. With Hunter Smith, third baseman on deck. Brady steps back in. Weekly ready to go. The 3-2 pitch. 
He foul tipped it, staying alive. Foul tipped by Frady. Say hey to my buddy Gary. Gary Huss listening in, watching in Krause. Here's the 3-2 pitch, fouled off again. Say hey to Judy Aker back in Cherryville. To Dango. Hey, Dango, raise your hand. Judy saw Danny here. He's doing fine. I said, I said hey to Judy from Danny. <laughs> Danny's standing over behind us here. Foul ball. It's still 3-2 and two on Frady. Weekly trying to get out number two here in the bottom of the first. No score in the ball game. And the pitch still fouled off by Frady. Still alive. That's about four, I believe, fouled off on by Carson Frady. Hanging in there with a 3-2 count. Seth Weekly ready to go. Works quickly in the pitch. Here's a fly ball to right center. That's going to get down. And Bess is going to cut it off. Frady's going for two. And the throw down won't be in time. A double for Frady on a 3-2 pitch. Doubles to right center. And just think now, had the runner not been thrown out trying to steal Bracey, it could be one nothing Whiteville. So big pickoff on the stolen base attempt by Bracey by Kaiser to Kraft down there at second moments ago. Brings up Hunter Smith with Frady at second base now and one out. Hunter Smith, third baseman, right-handed batter for Whiteville, post 137. As told you in the opening, Cherryville has beaten Whiteville twice in state tournament action in 2000 and in 2010. Not for the state title at that time, just in tournament play. Ball one to Smith as Weekly falls behind here, another hitter. And the pitch, pop foul out of play. And it's one ball, one strike on Hunter Smith. Frady down at second base after the one-out double on the 3-2 pitch. He kept fouling pitches off till he got something he could work with. And this is a fly ball to left. Left fielder Chandler Jenkins looking up in the sun there, makes the catch, gets the ball back in, and there's two down with Frady still at Second base. Brings up Macon Hammond. Hammond, a left-handed batter. He's the first baseman. So the first lefty weekly will pitch to here in this game against Whiteville. And the umpire calls time and sweeps off home plate. The third base umpire moves from behind third to in front of the shortstop, the second base umpire moved back to first base. And the pitch to Hammond is a strike. 0-1 on the lefty, Macon Hammond. So one hit and two outs for Whiteville. No runs here in the bottom of the first. And the pitch to Hammond. Pop fly. Bess right there on it, draws the B, drifts a little bit to left field to make the catch for out number three. No runs, a hit, no errors, and one left. We played an inning, no score. On a Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug scoreboard, it's B-Square Construction Baseball. Friends, let's stop spending our weekends driving back 